Today on CVTV, we're going over the installation and setup of the brand new Camor X1 Bluetooth dosing pump. Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and I'll be your host for today. The new Camor X1 liquid dosing pump is the latest state-of-the-art controllable dosing system from Camor. Each unit includes a Bluetooth connection, which allows the doser to be controlled via most mobile devices. Alkalinity and calcium are consumed by our tank's inhabitants 24-7 and need to be replenished on a regular basis. Some hobbyists take care of this by manually adding alkalinity and calcium solution once a day, and other hobbyists rather automate the process by using dosing pumps. The X1 is a reliable, safe, and versatile solution that facilitates the addition of supplements into our systems. Not only it allows you to dose alkalinity and calcium, but we can also supplement things like trace elements, magnesium, liquid carbon, and the list goes on and on. Before we get started with installation, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include the X1 dosing unit, power adapter, graduated cylinder, transparent PVC tubing, and a power link cable. Now that we have accounted for all the parts, let's get started with the installation. First, let's attach the dosing pump heads to the main unit. The process is super simple and should only take a few seconds. All you need to do is line up the center of the exposed side of the dosing head on the front of the X1 unit and push the head in until it snaps into place. You can install the heads with the tubing down, up, to the left, or right. Just choose the option that better suits your setup. Now that the unit has been assembled, let's find a location that is optimal for mounting our X1. The location should be easy to access. It should be close to an electrical power source, close to sump or location where your dosing tubing will be installed, and also have easy access to the dosing containers that will hold the solution. The unit should also be installed higher than the sump, but not directly above water. It is time to connect the tubing. Just attach the included PVC clear tubing to the unions already attached to the doser head, and we are ready to configure the X1. Before we proceed, let's download and install the X1 Pump app from the Google Play or Apple App Store. This is required to remotely control our X1 dosing unit. We must also make sure that the Bluetooth on our mobile device is set to on. Connecting the X1 unit is a snap. There is no need to change your mobile device's Wi-Fi or do complicated press button sequence. All you need to do is connect the X1 device to power and then start the X1 pump app. Once the app is up and running, just click on the upper left hand corner plus symbol to add a new device. Tap on the Bluetooth symbol to let the app scan the surrounding area and find your X1 pump. All done! Your X1 device is now connected. To keep track of your X1 pump and make it easier to configure in the future, let's go ahead and rename it. Just tap on the three dots to the right of the pump and select Set Nickname. Type in the name and tap Confirm. If you have multiple X1 pumps, you can easily assign them to different groups to make things a little more organized. To create or assign an X1 pump to a group, just tap on the three dots to the right of the X1 pump and tap on Group Select. Type in or select your already created group name. This feature is great if you have multiple systems with multiple X1 pumps. After connecting the X1 pump, the next step in the process is to calibrate it. Tap on the pump name to load the configuration page. Now, tap on Settings located on the upper right hand corner. Finally, select Flow Calibration. First though, let's prime the line to purge out any excess air. If not, the calibration will be off. Once you see all air has been perched from the line and water starts to pour out, tap on stop. Using the included 10 ml beaker, insert the output line into the beaker and tap on start adding. The pump will run for 10 seconds and then automatically stop. Enter the volume of the liquid in the test beaker and tap on complete. The calibration of the X1 is now finished. For increased accuracy, we do recommend that you calibrate the X1 pump every four to six weeks. We are ready to use our X1 pump now. There are two methods of dosing with the X1 pump. Manual, which is used for single one-time dosing, and planned, which is used to create a 12-stage, 24-hour dosing schedule. 
To dose manually, select Manual Add from the main screen. Tap on the center of the circle and enter your volume amount in milliliters. Tap on Confirm and then tap on Start Adding. The screen will show you a real-time countdown as the solution is being added. The second mode is the Plan Mode. This allows you to create a more intricate schedule for up to 12 different time points in a 24-hour period or automate a single dosing on a daily basis at the same time each day. To create a new plan, just tap on the pump name you wish to configure. Now, from the top menu, select Plan Add. This brings us to the Plan Add screen. Now, let's break it down and go over what it all means. At the top of the screen, you will see the container section. This is a really handy section that allows you to approximate how much solution there is left on a container based on your current dosing schedule. In order for this to work though, you must enter the volume to the best of your ability. If you added 1000 milliliters of alkalinity solution, then tap on the container image and input 1000 milliliters. As you create your planned schedule, you will see the information on the container section adjust. The next section is the cycle. Here you're able to determine if you want to dose on a daily basis or as infrequent as once every 31 days. You can also set the pump to dose on a weekly basis, which allows you to then select which days of the week you want to dose. If you want to dose on a Sunday, or if you want to dose more often like Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. To select the days of the week you want to dose, just tap on the day until a blue check mark is added to the right side. For the purposes of this video though, we will be dosing on a daily basis. The bottom section is your actual schedule. Here you can tell the doser to administer a daily total volume and spread it evenly 12 times in a day. To create a repeating schedule, tap on the plus symbol at the bottom right of the app. To create an automated single dosing regimen that repeats itself daily, select Add Plan. To create a more intricate schedule that divides a total volume into multiple equal amounts, then select Quick Plan. You will now be taken to the configuration screen. Let's select the start time. This is the starting point of your equal doses. If you want to dose only during the day, then you would set this time to sometime in the morning. If you want to dose and spread out through the entire 24 hour cycle, then leave the time as zero. The end time will be when the dosing schedule is complete. If you decide that you are only dosing during the day, then you would set this time to somewhere before the sunset. If you want a dosing to spread out through the entire 24 hour cycle, then leave it as time 23.59. The Add Times feature allows you to select the number of equal dosings. You can administer from 1 up to 12 times during your selected time range. For our purposes, we will select the maximum frequency of 12. This means that our doser will administer a solution once every 2 hours. Total Add is the final amount the unit will dose when you add up all the equal dosings. So if you want to dose 120 milliliters daily with 12 equal spaced out smaller doses of 10 milliliters each, you would enter 120. The final setting is anti-chemical interference. This means that if you have another plan or pump dosing at the same time, one pump will delay administering the chemical by 5 minutes to ensure that the two chemicals are not mixed. Once you have configured all settings, tap on the save at the upper right hand corner. As you can see now, the main screen will now show you the entire regimen. Say you wish to modify a couple of the individual times without changing the rest. Just tap on the individual time you want to modify and adjust the volume. Please remember though, that if you do adjust the volume of an individual time point, the software will not adjust the other time points to keep your total dosing volume to what it was before. If you adjust the point, the daily total will go up and down accordingly. If you wish to delete a point, just tap and hold the right arrow on the right side of the point and then slide your finger from right to left until you see the delete option. If you desire more points, then just tap on the plus sign at the bottom right and select Add Plan. Well, that's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Camor X1 Bluetooth Dozer, including detailed specs and beautiful high quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products. See you next time.